Hello, hello, this is going to be a little tutorial for ho, ho, P02, uh, Washer, the first part we do for this assignment, it's nice and simple, we can see it here in the uh, Pulley Project Facts document, which is available on the blackboard, uh, if we have a look at this, it is quite a thick washer, it's 5mm tall, and it's got a wee little chamfer at uh, what we can probably see is 45 degrees, not 45 centigrade there. And let's jump in and start to have a look at SolidWorks. We'll also check out the interface as we go with this one, assuming it's probably your first look at SolidWorks. So jump back across. First things first, let's create a new document. File, new, and part is what we're gonna select. Hit OK. And that will open us up into a new blank uh, part document. What I would like to do off the bat is save this document. We're going to save the file name as uh, the part number. And we're also going to give it a description after that, which will be this washer description down the bottom there. So, Control S to save. Now I can type in that part code I was talking about, P02, and hit save. And to add the description I mentioned, I'm going to come right up the top to this File Properties button. We'll click File Properties, and under Property Name, we'll create a new property name called Description. And under value text expression, we will label this as washer and press OK. Control S to save once again. And now we've got that data and the name uh, embedded into our file, which is going to be helpful in the long run when we get on to doing drawings. So for now, let's just draw a cylinder five millimeters tall. So in the uh, SolidWorks interface, we have, to, we have to sketch on planes. We get given three planes at the start. The front, top, and right plane. Now if I select those, you can kind of see how they sit within the space. And to orbit around like that, I'm pushing down on the center scroll wheel of my mouse while moving my mouse and that allows me to sort of go into this orbit mode and that's a very nifty way for sort of navigating around and getting a bit more of a 3D look at whatever you're working on. So to start with I will come into the top plane. I want to draw something on my top plane and that thing is a circle so I right click top plane and I select this first icon which is sketch. SolidWorks automatically brings me into a nice view directly above that sketch I can then, from my sketch toolbar, select a circle, and I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to make my first mouse click right on those uh, little red arrows, they're called the origin, and that places the center of my circle. Then I have one click left which will place the uh, outer radius of that circle. And I'll just drop that down wherever. So if I press escape sort of once or twice, you'll see that that uh, little icon next to my mouse has disappeared, telling me I'm drawing a circle. And now it's just back to the plain mouse tool. I can click and drag the circle. And my mouse once again shows me that I'm in a circle editing mode by putting that little circle next to my mouse. However, this time when I let go, you can see I'm already automatically out of that circle edit mode. So I want to place, uh, I've got an issue right now in that this circle isn't defined. And in fact, if I look down the bottom here, it says my whole sketch is under defined. So I'm going to uh, start putting some more information onto this sketch. The first thing I want to put on is a dimension of how big that circle is. So let's see if we can look at the drawing and uh, infer what that dimension might be. Mm, there's nothing uh, in particular here telling us how big that washer is. We could have a look if there's uh, a likewise dimension anywhere else. No, there's not really 
anything obvious going on there. So let's have a look at what we do have. We have a single 5 miller height dimension. And if we sort of scale that out on the rest of our picture, it looks like this is maybe about 5 mil across, that's about 5 mil, and this is about 5 mil. So let's just work with that information we have for now. And we'll say that this is 15 millimeters. So I'll click that dimension down, I'll place it, I'll type 15 millimeters in there. And that is my first sketch. You can see now it's fully defined and the line has turned black, meaning that this sketch has all the information it needs to be uh, completely defined. That's going to be important in the long run because we don't want underdefined sketches because they can tend to wander or move and cause issues. Uh, so now that we've got our first sketch, we're going to use our first feature. Think of it as a sketch creates a 2D geometry in SolidWorks. And a feature uses that sketch to create 3D geometry in SolidWorks. So under the Features toolbar, I want to use Extruded Boss Base. You'll notice I'm still in my sketch. I can confirm that because I can see these two icons at the side of the screen. We won't click those just yet. They're for closing or deleting our sketch. So I'm going to click Extruded Boss Base. And we can see now it's creating some 3D geometry. This is just a preview. This hasn't actually created it yet. Uh, we've got a few parameters over here we can change. The only one we're going to change for now is this distance. Right now it's extruding 10 millimeters up. We only want 5 millimeters based on our drawing. And I'll hit the green tick. So that is a good start to our washer. But we still want a little bit more detail. We want a hole through the center and we want this chamfer, this angled section around the bottom. So let's add that in. Uh, we don't only have to draw on top planes. We can also, or right planes or front planes, we can also draw on any planar surface. So that means a flat surface. For example, the top of this cylinder is a flat surface. So if I right click that surface, I can see the same sketch icon appear. If I select that sketch icon uh, and I come to, so up here I've just come to the view selection pane and I'm going to select this little uh, section here which allows me to come to the top view. And I'm going to draw one more circle, this time being the circle at the center of my washer. I'm going to select Smart Dimension and I'm going to place what looks like a 5mm uh, hole through the middle based on using this scale. Alright. Now to me, that doesn't quite look right. It looks a little bit small. So let's, uh, let's do a little bit of digging and have a look at some of the other things on this page. The first thing that jumps out is that we're using M10 bolts. Those of you that have done uh, you know, any kind of mechanics before will know that that means this bolt has a 10 millimeter diameter down that threaded section. Uh, and if that's a bolt and that's a washer, you know, there's a good probability they're right next to each other that this bolt is going to have to fit through that washer. So let's assume that uh, you know maybe this isn't the greatest hand sketch. It might not be to scale. Uh, and let's make that hole at the center of the washer 10 millimeters so that it will fit that bolt. So I can double click on the dimension I've already made. And I can change that dimension just by typing a new number into that area. Now I'm going to come to my features toolbar again and this time I'm going to use an extruded cut where a boss created material using a sketch, a cut will remove material using a sketch. Uh, I'm going to change my direction from blind which is just cutting 5mm down. Now that would work because we're only 5mm tall but I have something a little bit more useful and relevant 
And that is through all, because at the end of the day, what I want to do is just cut through everything and create a hole. So I've selected through all, that means I don't have to put a dimension in. It also means that if the height of my washer changes, that will always cut all the way through. Now I'm going to come to the fillet section of the feature toolbar, and I'm going to click this little drop down list and select chamfer. Let's have a look. You know, it's quite small. It might only be a one or two mil chamfer. We can see it's at 45 degrees. So I will change my dimension to two mil. And I'm just going to click that bottom edge where I can see that chamfer sits on the other part. And there's my washer. So I can save that, close my part, and I'm ready to move on to uh, another part on the project.